Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Trimco number 976U625. This is a door viewer, is what this is. The 976 we have listed in a 605, which is polished brass. We have a 613, which is oil rubbed bronze. And then we have the 625. And that's going to be, of course, the finish on the bezel on the outside. And of course, the piece of hardware, the portion of the interior that would be exposed, giving you a polished chrome finish. Very attractive, very um, handsome finish. Trimco has expert command over the finishing process. Their product always comes out looking very, very um, exceptional. Uh, exceptional quality. Uh, the fit and finish is always impressive. Um, and they, they must have a really uh, well mature and developed finishing department because every time that I see their material, even if it's just a door viewer, I'm always impressed with just how good the finish looks. Um, now, moving on, what is this? Well, it's a door viewer, and this is very importantly, this is UL listed, which means if you have a fire rated door, this is permissible for use on that door. And that's because it bears the visual evidence or the label indicating that it is. If you have a fire rated door, it is mandatory by all code that I'm aware of, uh, every code that I've heard, you have to have hardware that is both listed and possibly labeled. Almost all hardware will have to have a visual indicator, a label, some sort of stamping that says, I've been tested for a fire door, I'm okay to install. Hinges, non-spring hinges, do not require that. At least they, they don't. And I don't know that they will, although I've heard that some manufacturers are proactively stamping their hinges. It's probably a marketing effort, would be my guess. This, they say, will go out to 2 and an eighth inch. I would say that that would be accurate. I've got that turned in probably three times. And then they'll say it goes down to inch and three eighths. And that it's 180 degree. Fahrenheit, no, just teasing, that is a 180 degree uh, view, okay, down to inch and three-eighths, they say, I'd say, sure, not a problem there, right at inch and three-eighths. Uh, the extended description information down below, we're going to take a look at in a moment, and let's switch now to the screen view where we can do so. Okay, so this is the item here that we are looking at. 180 degree, polished chrome, inch and three eighths to two and an eighth. Applications, sure, anywhere where you need it. Hospitality, you know, hotel rooms, uh, very much going to be fire rated uh, and certainly need door viewers. Uh, and we'll talk about the options from Trimco in a moment. Obviously residential applications as well. Uh, the Trimco door viewers are not gonna be considered the least expensive that you can get your hands on. The finish is exceptional. Um, I have every reason to believe that the quality of the lens is above average just because of the clarity. Now, link to the product brochure, template, and product maintenance. Let's look at the template first since I clicked on that. Uh, we're dealing with a 976U. And I see here that we have, it's actually 190 degree, not 180 degree. Um, didn't occur to me that that was incorrect until I am now thinking of it. Larger units, uh, where you have a 975, a smaller unit, those will be 160 degrees, sometimes a little bit bigger. But when you get into drilling a 916 hole, you'll get, uh, you know, the potential for 190 degree. That's clearly the case, and we're going to update the site so that by the time you're seeing this, that will be corrected to 190 degree. Okay, so that sidestep. Uh, corrected. The A dimension down in the chart here at the bottom, inch and three eighths minimum to maximum that we've uh, discussed already. Outside dimension of one and a sixteenth and then the inside, I don't see that they give us the inside dimension. We will put our caliper on that in a moment and check. So in terms of where to drill the item, if you're dealing with a handicap compliant application, 
43 inch would be a very good guideline. That is not a firm absolute, but that falls well within the average area to install a door viewer. If you're not dealing with a handicap compliant mandatory application, then you are free to install it obviously wherever you would like. 60 inch, five foot is very standard. You might have everyone in your home that's five foot 11 and above. I would probably mount it a little higher. You do occasionally see homes where there are two of them and that always tells me that, well, they had one and then grandma moved in and they added a second one. Um, so decide where you're gonna place it and that will that will be where that ends. Now, in terms of where to drill that hole from the bottom, uh, or, or forgive me, from the finished floor, um, is while that's very important, something else that's incredibly important as well is uh, where to drill it uh, in relationship to the door itself. Now, what I've just quickly drawn here are two door edges. Pretend this is square. Uh, that's that. That is obviously not a straight line. Pretend that's a square edge door, and that's a beveled edge door. That's a radius edge door, and that's a more. Uh, that's a rabbited edge door. Well, on a square edge door, let's just kind of fix that a little bit. Okay, on a square edge door, where you measure it from here over to here, it's going to be the same area. On a beveled edge door, when you measure from over here and then you measure on the opposite side over here. That line is not going to be in the same location. So be mindful to adjust the positioning of your hole when you drill for the viewer because while the outside is inch and 1 16th, the inside is possibly 3 quarter inch at the very most. And we'll put the caliper again on that in a moment. Not that you're ever going to do a radius uh, or a rabbited edge. You could do a rabbited edge. But this just illustrates the fact that the back set, the distance from the edge of the door to the center of something, of your reinforcement or your preparation, you need to take into account whether the door is square, beveled, or rabbited, whatever you're doing. You, you have to take that into account. Uh, so be mindful of that. I, don't, I won't go into detail on that. So that's our uh, template. Let's click over and check out the product maintenance. This is just going to be a generic document that applies to everything Trimco. We will get questions from clients that say, oh, I'm looking for the maintenance instructions for my door pole. Well, it's a door pole, so, um, you know, it's hard to answer the question, how do you maintain it? Well, I mean, you, you would maintain it by checking the integrity of the installation, confirming that it operates correctly uh, according to what it was engineered for, etc. It sounds inane, but nonetheless, maintenance instructions are typical, con uh, are typical documents that will be included in the construction documents that will become a part of the life of the building or what they call the as-builds. So um, yeah, it seems ridiculous, but nonetheless, there it is. That's their statement. Then they have the product brochure and that's handy because it will allow us to just quickly look at the chart and that's where we picked up that 180 and I know that that's out of date. Okay, so the 975, uh, is, this is the tiny one, you know, not much to deal with there. If you're dealing with a fire rated door, you got to go with the U. You got to go with the U. Um, now, regarding the 975L, extra log, that should say extra long, the 975L is capable of much thicker doors. And we sell, admittedly, more of the 975L than we do the 976. Um, up to two and a half inch door thickness, okay? You have a two and a quarter inch thick door, very common. This would be the unit you need, but they don't make the bigger size in the viewer that will accommodate the thicker door. So that's where that is. So back to the item that we're looking at here, okay? Now, before we go back to the camera view, this is the link to the manufacturer's page. And from that link, you can pull up not only all of the Trimco products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to their full product catalog. And I would definitely suggest that you review their catalog. The name Trimco has been a cornerstone in the trim and auxiliary industry uh, when it comes to commercial building products, and obviously those that can be used in residential settings like this door viewer for several decades, 1949. And while the people who own it today are not the people who owned it five or 10 years ago, I can tell you that the people who own it today are definitely very, very focused on 
growing their brand by establishing the strongest relationships with their distribution, doing so in such a way that they are providing very high quality product at a fair price and doing so in a very transparent way. They're evolving the product line. They're, um, they have historically not always been super easy to, to deal with. That was prior ownership and they were great. They're, you know, they're fit and finish. Their, their hardware just looked beautiful, and it still does. The current uh, newer generation who owns it, um, unrelated, but a new generation, new ideas, new thoughts, are most certainly building on that quality Trimco name. Um, and the point is, is the name Trimco has associated with it incredibly high quality standards in their product, and again, their fit and finish. They're evolving the product line. They are doing things that other people are not uh, as you continue to, if you were to scroll through this catalog, you'll see unusual pieces of hardware like the 1069. This is a handicap compliant passage that you would use on a sliding door. Same thing in a privacy function. That's here. Get into their Mastercraft. Um, I think they still call it Mastercraft. They're modern timepieces. Uh, timepieces. They're, they're, modern, they're modern masterpieces. Um, I did some Mastercraft for a uh, country club here in southern Florida and um, the name of the pull handle was a Roman god um, I just don't remember what it was but very beautiful uh, pull handle is what it was maybe the older book will have it because I would like to show it to you um, and the reason that I'd like to show it to you is because the the manufacturer was able to accommodate the request there we go accommodate the request from ownership where they wanted a special finish on this Juno uh, on that Juno pole they wanted it powder coated dark bronze dark bronze equivalent powder coat and we were able to provide that for the client because the manufacturer was willing to accommodate our request and they did a really nice job with that really really nice so the Juno is what they did and they had the casting so it worked out really well I was able to pull up in my email what the poles looked like after about a year of installation and um, these back plates that you saw here we had to do because the um, the client had these existing pole handles that were removed and the designer selected the Juno that's what it looked like after they got done Okay. South Florida, so very coastal environment, even though the facility is probably five or eight miles off the ocean. It's, there's salt in the air everywhere here, naturally. So that's what a Juno actually looks like. Now, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, very nice quality fit and finish. When the current ownership uh, took over Trimco, which don't quote me, but I'm thinking it may have been 2016 or so. It was quite a bumpy ride. Um, they were, I believe that the folks were not from the door hardware industry, so that they, there was a bit of a learning curve, but they were quick studies. And a year or two after, they had start to really build some steam in the boiler, so to speak. And fast forward to 2020 now, they've been able to pull some rabbits out of the hat. So what's amazing about that is you've got Great quality, super great quality, great fit and finish, and now they've got ability to, you know, basically put a stick of dynamite under that inventory and their manu forgive me, their manufacturing capability and get the stuff shipped. So very potent combination uh, coming, and they have to because the trim and auxiliary hardware industry is a very competitive uh, place. Most are not as good as Trimco, and there's one that. Trimco ought to be quite concerned with because they're exceptional as well. Take a look at Trimco. Very well worth the uh, review. They're a manufacturer. They don't stock everything. They don't stock much, but sometimes they do, and they've been increasing that. Plan ahead. While their material may not be in stock, their material is always well worth the wait. Any questions on the 976U or any other uh, Trimco door viewer, please, or any other Trimco item, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.